Okay, now it's the next morning and I have just divided my um, the stove is still filthy from having those on the uh, on the simmer yesterday, and um, I'm they've been sitting overnight. I've divided them into two, so I have I've divided the um, orange mixture into two. So I have a pot and then a pot waiting, and I'm going to do two separate lots just because. Um, I've only got one main stove top burner working, so I'm just going to do it, do it that way. So, I have in here 14 cups of juice and pulp and peel, and to that I'm going to add equal parts caster sugar. going to be a lot of sugar. going to stir fairly constantly until this comes to the boil. When it comes to the boil I'm going to continue stirring it, um, ensuring that it doesn't stick to the bottom until it comes to almost gelling point. Now I don't have a thermometer so the way I check for that is to put a little bit on a, on a plate, pop it in the freezer for a couple of minutes and then check that it's sort of like jellified a little. So I've got it up high and it's going to take time. So that's all right. All you have to do is stir. And I have my jars waiting in a sink of hot water. I have cleaned them. They don't need to be sterilized because uh, this marmalade processes for 10 minutes. And I'll give it an extra couple of minutes just to make sure it's sterilized well. But, you know, once it's sterilized, it's sterilized. So, the fact is, if you are sterilized, if you are um, processing anything for 10 minutes or more in a water bath then it becomes sterile okay it's as simple as that there really becomes no point in sterilizing the jars beforehand so you have to make sure they're warm though so that they don't crack so I have them sitting uh, in a bath of hot water and I did wash them well a lot of them are new and I was um, it was brought to my attention that they smell really bad when you first open them after buying them and they do it's good in there I love the way the sugar gives it that glazed gorgeous golden Looks like liquid gold. Mm. And I'm multitasking. Mmm. Brecky. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, it's boiling away. It's been boiling for a few minutes now, and I'm just stirring and stirring. And uh, it's a little over full, but it's alright. I'm making a big, a nice big mess down there that'll take a bit of cleaning, but 
that. It's on its way. So I'm just stirring and stirring so it doesn't stick and keep that boil down a little bit so it doesn't go over the edge too much. Of course if you did one quantity of this you wouldn't have that issue whatsoever. But I'm a bit insane like that and I like to go overboard with everything. I think I'm going to end up with about two years worth of marmalade. So it'll be nice. I'll no doubt give away quite a bit as just here you go have a gift gifts but um, we'll end up with marmalade for quite a while. Yeah, my hot jar is waiting in a bath of water so I'm going to get a bunch of those out. Fiddly, but and I've got some different size jars because I've got um, a grandmother-in-law who loves marmalade so I'm going to give her a couple of the smaller jars because that's just easier for her to get through on her own. Let's see how we go with these. Okay, you want a quarter of an inch gap. And I'm going to end up with a big mess to clean up. <laughs> I'm aware of that. Okay, now I have half the mixture done, jarred, and I have the other half of the mixture already on the stove cooking away. So I'm so I'm multitasking, but it'll work out because if you just go for the stuff, then that's how it goes. Now I'm going to put the lids on these jars here. So before I do so, I'm just going to go around each ring with some vinegar on a napkin just to make sure that that is clean and because I use the funnel and I didn't have a funnel um, when I did my first couple of lots of jam and realized that a funnel would really make things a lot easier I didn't even have one of these lifter uppery things either. I was using tongs and wishful thinking, but um, it has certainly been easier since I got a little bit of the gear. So. Almost ready. Find another big lid. And then find the big rings. I'm just using the napkin to hold them with too. Just need to move that one a bit. I should be using my duva wacky to move them. Right. I'm going to have so much jam. I could go into the jamming business. We're jamming. Okay. One. And two. This is what Sam's got already. I hope you like German too. My Gemma, my Gemma, my Gemma, my Gemma, my Gemma, my Gemma, my Gemma. Okay, ouch, that one's a bit hot. They're all a bit hot, I just touched that one, that's all. Ooh. 
Okay, all done. Now, I ended up with the equivalent of, let's have a look. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 and a half pints, 21 and a half pints worth. in um, winter, so in a good six months, six to nine months I'll probably um, make some more, but it really means for that whole time that I can just enjoy it so that's really exciting that's a stock pile of marmalade that I made and it's beautiful so exciting yay and I've got dinner in the slow cooker chili pork um, tortillas so what we're having tonight yum we just walked into the house we've just been out for a while and it smells so good so thanks for watching, please subscribe, I'm going to chuck a lot more of this sort of stuff up and have an awesome day or night. See you later.